Welcome back, everybody. Um, if you have a swimming pool, great. If you don't have one, you better go find one because it's the best place to be over the weekend. You know, we used to do a lot of chilling and grilling over the weekends. Now, who wants to light a fire pit? Not me. <laughs> anyway, a dub, abundant sunshine today, wall to wall all over Texas. A thin little line of showers trying to get into that ridge, but not having much luck. In fact, that's falling apart. As I mentioned, uh, the, the, around the edges of the ridge is where all the rain is occurring, the thunder showers. And you can see basically going from the, the central plains all the way down into the southeast. But that dome on top of us is something for the record books, that is for sure. Here are the observed highs for today, 101 for us, 100 out in Calhoun County, right by the water, even Corpus Christi and even Brownsville. Corpus Christi is right on the water. Brownsville is a little bit farther inland, but uh, they got into the hundreds as well and up into Wichita Falls. 111, they beat out Laredo. Isn't that great? These are the forecast highs for tomorrow, so there's not a lot of change. And, you know, I was telling you that we, I was hoping that the ridge would move center back to the east southwest, but it's not moving. As a result, we're going to be just high and dry through the weekend. Now, all this in orange uh, is uh, the heat advisory for all of us, okay? So be careful. I, I know you need to get out, you need to do stuff, that's good, that's fine, early in the morning. In the middle of the day, you're going to perspire a lot, so that's why we, we want to be careful. This in, uh, in uh, red here is actually a red flag warning. In other words, the humidity is so low, the heat is so hot, that they have uh, potential to get fires going. And as you saw, I guess it was this week, we had that fire up near Bastrop, and Bastrop's very... Um, very concerned about it because you know they had two major fires in the last 10 years I'm, I'm talking big fires and so we don't want anything to get going like that because a if you don't get to it fast enough it'll be hard to control uh, of course uh, all of the south central plains all the way up into canada uh, rather in uh, kansas and nebraska are suffering from this uh, this particular fellow here and this fellow, like I said, I thought it would be moving back to our, uh, Tucson, but it's not really moving much. Pressures for us will stay high through the next seven days. So in terms of changes, pretty slim uh, of, of an opportunity of anything changing. Uh, two things happening. Uh, this is the west coast of Mexico. Uh, this is uh, Dora, and there's another one forming right about here. This is going to be much closer to land. Dora is not a problem. And of course, as we've been talking about this week, the super typhoon um, Kunan is still stuck in the China Sea there. Uh, it's been there about two days, and it's forecast to be there another two or three more days at 150 miles an hour. So that's uh, going to be one for the record books. All right, for those of you who happen to be having a good uh, weekend, haven't heading out to the coast to do a little fishing, here's your high tides at 11 in the morning and 8 at night. Uh, there are your low tides at two, uh, 3, almost 3 in the morning and 3 in the afternoon. But remember, the southeast winds kick up in the afternoon, slightly choppy bays, and otherwise it should be pretty good down there. For Port Lavaca, 96 tomorrow. For Cuero, still getting up to the hundreds. And for the rest of us, we'll be hovering right at about 101 right on through this coming weekend. That's your seven-day forecast, reminding everybody we do have a QR code. We'd love for you to scan that and 